Hey everybody, welcome back to Mildcore Gaming and our playthrough of City of Villains. I'm Yemmer, I am bad at video games. If that's what you like, please like, subscribe, share, follow, all that fun stuff. We put out new videos every day. And here we are with Fluffykin, our mastermind. Um, I'm a little bummed out because um, the Halloween event is going on. And I was trying to showcase my uh, all the costumes I've collected, but I uh, haven't played for over a week or so. Apparently they're on a timer because they're all gone. So I got to collect them all again. But for now, here's our handsome devil himself. Um, I don't know if he's actually a devil, but he's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, we are level 32. And uh, the game did do some updates. So my guys, now one of my guys has an ability. He can, my, uh, my lich... He can like summon his own little specters. So we have even more guys to help out. And uh, we have our dark empowerment. I think that's what it's called. Yes, our third level 32 upgrades. So now we have upgraded our guys two levels. As you can see, um, my two grave knights now have cool horned helmets, glowing eyes, and so does George. So right now, we have an old mission here. Um, actually, hold on. I'm trying to do them in order. And I got a lot of weird contacts. So, yeah, Mercedes Sheldon, Persuade Longbow on Nerva. So that's the one we're going to do. Oh, we just need to defeat Longbow. Oh. Okay, well, we can do that. Uh, longbow. I think they have a base. That's the circle. Um, okay, they have to find... Oh, longbow. Here we go. Here's some. Where are my guys? Come on, guys. Oh, I can start on them because they're bears. Yeah, see, I just... It, either me or my guys popped up little specters. Where'd he go? Oh, well, yeah. Wait, why did my mission go away? There we go. That'll do. Oh yeah, they're they have little sky skip things. There's just one. Where? Need more. Not that guy. Not that. That's fifth column. Um. Can we respawn here? That's lost. They're lost. Okay, hold on. That's maybe rooftops. Are they on the rooftops? Nope. Fifth column. Yeah, man. Oh, wait. What are those guys? Oh, that's a longbow. That'll do. Oh, get the kill, get the kill. This fifth column and longbow fighting each other, but hey, we got it. Get the dead man's dead. You've defeated enough longbow to tell you who brought the deck and what he plans to do with it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and I figured out, uh, you out if you out-level the zone you're in, you can't trick-or-treat there. So 
that's why last few times uh, when we've exited missions, it just said you couldn't enter because. Oh. Officer Martins. So we should be able to trick or treat on this door. There we go. Whoa! My guys are doing a good job. Oh, uh, keeping our attention and keeping alive. I didn't even notice them. Okay. Um, wait, where? Oh, she's in the Midnighter Club. Uh, that's a hard, that's a place that's difficult to get to. I think. Hold on, where? Well, we're, we're here, so we're gonna do this one. We still. The circles artifacts because I'm not sure how to get back to the Midnighter Club. We will go here. Looks like it's a cave. Yeah. This might be hopefully a, one of the larger caves. Oh, it is. Uh, at this point, the city of Orenvega isn't really too unfamiliar to you. Unfortunately, from the sounds nearby, the Ricti are pretty familiar with this place as well. So, three artifacts to find. And there are Ricti here. Where? Hmm, how do I? Oh, there you go. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh yeah, my lich can do uh, fearsome stare and makes him just tremble in fear. Okay. 
Good job, guys. Crystal, as you stand here, increases your energy, um, your energy re regrows faster. The red ones will cause damage, and the green ones will heal. Let's see here, this guy, Ricky Thief. Two, plus two. two. Um, let's see what is this one. It looks like a dead end. And it is. Oh, wait. I've got, don't get ahead of my buddies. Well, I'm, I'm stuck. There we go. Um, there's this way. Yeah, these ones damage you. This is a dead end as well. Here we go. This one heals. But I'm already healed up, so. There you go, Larry. He took a big hit. Oh, oh. Well, yeah, they uh, they all have, uh, all my guys have a little bit of a self-heal now. Oh, whoa, whoa, where did you come from? Okay. to see what we got. My guys are doing really good. And another dead end. And back here. Um, oh, we'll go here. And it's gonna loop around, I bet. Yep. Whoa, I hear it, I hear it. Aha, got one. Wait, one artifact remains. Is it just two I needed? Oh, wow, this is a big area. Oh yeah, oh, I had somehow pop-up specters. Please be wrong, that's not going to happen. Oh, let's see here, I've got four inspirations. Um, do, 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 okay. So, I guess we're just going to go back across. Uh -huh. 
Those were like technology. Ah, yes, those were technology noises. Oh, that's you, buddy. This is a pretty, actually pretty stinking cool. Hold on. Look at that. Oh yeah, let's get a nice shot of the skull and everything there. Okay. So this is a much bigger area than I thought. Sure, we got everything. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. Hiding back here. Stuff, good stuff. Oh, these are teleportation circles. These, what are these? This one takes me. Oh, back down to where I was. Okay, didn't need that, but. Okay, hold on. Here we go. That, okay, we have already been there, so that's not it. Looks like to the north. Can we go? North? Hmm. Not seeing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, is this the same one? No, this is different. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, that's the one I need to go. Alright. Here we go, here we go. See a guy. Ooh, there's a few of them. <coughs> Alright, here we go. That little guy first. And I'm going to try and choose this guy. Teleported. But I froze him. <laughs> Yeah. 
see there's another one there, right? Confusion, got him. My guys are falling now. Wait, where did there we go? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot we can attack the folks. Oh no no no! It's gonna blow up and it's gonna hurt him. What? That thing just kind of floated up. That was weird. Can't use any of those. All right, let's end the uh, mission there. Okay. So that was an mission. Okay, so I don't have any more missions here. That one's done. Shark head, St. Marshall, Shark head. Okay, we're going to go back to Shark head. Oh, wait a minute. We got gotta get the trick or treat. Shall travel back to Sharkhead. Although we're, we've out leveled Sharkhead, but we still have mission to finish up there. So that's what we'll do. Take a boat. And Sharkhead. Oh, I think I can get to. I think I might be able to get to the Midnight Club from here. I'm not sure, though. Okay. So we got two missions here. <coughs> we'll do... We buy out from the Zig. Hold on, what do we got? Sure, okay. Intercept the Arachnos Raid. And then... Yeah, well, free bio because that's the one. That's the story one we're working on for Doc Buzzsaw. And oh, we're gonna take a submarine to the Zig. Ziggurat. All right. Uh, we just arrived at the place, and the place is already. Whoa. Complete chaos. Whoa, that truck is... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you just arrived at the place. It's already complete chaos. This is certainly a good sign. A familiar voice calls out to you as you approach. So we got Dr. Pierce. He's right over here. Dr. Pierce. Dr. Pierce looks quite different. <coughs> Fluffy again. It isn't perfect, but you're looking at the sexy technological upgrades from version 0.62b of CMRJ. I'm laced up and ready for the next round of innovations, but now I'm, 
but I'm stable now and ready to rock the next ethics symp symposium. Not combat, though. I tried to slash a hard suit and nearly broke my shoulder. Reinforce or replace? Not sure yet. Pierce pauses a moment and looks over all the chaos. The freaks and the Edelons both respect the hell out of what I've been able to accomplish. So along with discarding my legs, I've discarded my name. Okay. Caitlin Pierce is alive within me, but now I am piecemeal. I would really like if you signed on to call me that. Please and thank you. Um, I'm going to say you look amazing. Piecemeal tussles her hair, which glows with fiber optic light. She grins widely, which you thought would hurt as you watch the wiring staple to her face bend and strain against the joints. She must be coursing with Excelsior as well. Excelsior, of course, is the drug that lets the freaks, that lets the freaks uh, freak show add components, then the body not reject them. It also makes them go, go psychotic. Oh, thank you, honey. Compliments will get you everywhere and definitely gets you in on the second round of upgrades when they reach candidate release stage. Pierce claps her hands together and rubs them make an entirely new kind of noise you weren't expecting. But you suppose she means to say, let's get to work. Let's talk business. I see the place is already on fire. Thanks. Pierce nods mechanically. It's really unsettling. Now, Buzzsaw tells me we're short on time and the freak lock, and the freak lock made their grand entrance only to find that find we've been upstaged by somebody else trying to get out. My horde will be able to eject the truck back where you and Bile, with you and Bile in it, but we haven't made as much progress. Oh, and don't be alarmed when the freak lock catch fire. They're built to self-immolate to keep the technology secret if they die. Okay, all the research data stream, all the research data streams remotely. Pierce laughs in an empty metallic manner. Anyway, task at hand. I need you to eliminate the guards and by the radio tower around the corner. Then head inside. Punch through to Supermax, get Mile, Bile, and get out. If things get really dicey in there, tag him with this. Pierce hands you a familiar Praytech transponder. Uh, I can see you recognize it. It's the same teleporter Buzzsaw gave you for Cortex. Use it on Bile if things get go chest plate up. Speaking of B-Brain, Cortex ran ahead to scout, but he hasn't come back yet. He's really irrelevant at this point, so if he's actually shady, light him up. If he's being legitimately useful, ah, screw it. He's a liability. Make sure he doesn't leave here, okay? Loud and clear. Business as usual. Okay. So we got... Okay. We got our boys here. These are our Freak Lock guys. Dis Freak Lock Disc Jockey. Freak Lock Swipey Cadaver. Freak Diversion Team Leader. Free clock meat shield. They almost look like lost. Got, whoa! Meat shield. Team leader. Okay. Where's the radio? Radio. Radar? Radio. Team leader. Free clock meat shield. That dude's got no legs. Okay, and then we've got these guys. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's guys up top. Yeah, go get that. Oh, we have to get all these guys. Okay. No problem. Where 
break into the zig. Okay, wait, what? Ah, slow running. Oh, is there a freak, freak lock Edelon? Oh, well, these guys are weird. Combinations of Vasilok and Freak Show is disturbing, to say the least. Oh, what? Oh, well, he's dead. Ah, stupid candle grenades they have. We have, oh, it's these guys, this super group. Great, everybody. Right. Find a key to max holding. Right, I guess we gotta go in now. Well, this is funny. This is this is the opposite of the tutorial. This is cool. It's the exact same map and layout. Them, shoot them. Shoot them. Look at these shots. Oh, there's it's power on. Stealth strike. What? What are we hitting? Oh. oh, okay, I see. 
Captain Reynolds. I'm gonna sneeze. Is it? Oh. All right. Oh man, I apologize. That my sinuses and allergies. Okay. So I guess we got the key. So we go down, back down. And is it? Oh yeah, it's this way. No wait, this is the way we came in. It is. Oh, this way. I cannot see. All right. Good job, guys. All right. So, Supermax holding cell. Okay. Hit this guy. Oh, got a couple more. Did not see them. I don't even have to act, actually. I can, I'm, my guys are to the point now where they're doing all the work. Okay, here we go. Put the location right there. That's weird. All right. Look at him squat, he's doing his little sneaky crawl around. Oh, Whoa, wait, wait, did that guy just get back up? That is not cool. He's kind of frozen. Oh. 
after all what happened in Supermax. Wait, what? Where's our guy? Why is he not here? Huh. Uh, oh, there must be more than one. Okay, there's more than one. That's why. Agent Indigo. We'll uh, read what it has to say about her in a minute. We can't freeze her. Uh, my guys are doing good, though. Okay, well, all right, we'll just talk over there. Oh, I, let a, I got a guy out. Oh, that's fire. I'm a cat. He's on my desk. Okay, just real quick, I wanted to read. Uh, um, Agent Indigo. Rumors abound throughout the villain underground about two incredibly dangerous government operatives. Codename Agent Crimson and Agent Indigo. Indigo is supposed to be the information and retrieval specialist and a deadly opponent who can read thoughts and see into the future. Future. Wait. Ask about what happened. I can't. Cl I can't ask him about what happened because he doesn't want to talk to me right now. Hold on. There's another dude over here. Can we get him out? Vandal. Ba oh, geez. Wait. Vandal appears to be laughing as you approach. You don't know what could possibly be so funny, but you're you're determined to find out. You realize, with all the chaos around you, that you only have. Time for a few questions at best from one of the two prisoners in here. All right, Chuckles, what's so funny? It's impossible to get a read on Vandal's face since it's behind that helmet. He's the uh, fifth column, leader, I believe. Uh, but his posture suddenly changes to one of more proper yet casual, like he was talking to a subordinate. Fluffy again. I'm laughing because you're here. It is like you cannot get enough of me, but I know that 
That is not why you are. Wait. But I know that is not why you are not here. That's a double negative. I think I meant to say, but I know that's not why you are here. I am laughing because I cannot think of a single path forward for you that does not end badly. Uh, let's look up Vandal's arrest details. Uh, you, are, you were immediately confused when you had entered the Supermax wing to see Vandal here. After all, you've beaten the living daylights out of him and Sharkhead and knocked that whole base offline just to make a point. How did he get arrested and moved here to Paragon? Read the arresting officer's notes. The arrest for report for Vandal is littered with acronyms and code words, which is typical for PPD when dealing with the council. See, oh, the, he's council. I thought he was with Colin. Okay. Seen as a council are often embedded as moles in many institutions, arrest details tend to be held against a cipher for additional security. You know only a few of those code words, mainly the code words for the names. The new Praetorians made a strong showing in Brookstown following the master jailbreak orchestrated by the center. Although most were recaptured, a few people ended up being unaccounted for. Uh, Arakan and Burkholder were amongst them. I think those are either fifth column or council leaders as well. After you savaged Vandal and left him helpless, he reached out and contacted Burkholder for help repairing himself. Burkholder came in with a Helivac and lifted Vandal out to Striga Isle where Archon set up a new command post near the volcano. These data points were obviously supplied through Indigo and Crimson, through, though you can't be sure with the redaction all over the files. You reference a long list of CIs, confidential informants, from Striga Isle who corroborated these details, such as the Hanson brothers and Long Jack, but also see that several CI entries have the names redacted down to just a single S. And most of those corroborations came from before Vandal moved back stateside. It was less than a week later when Vandal was arrested again after losing a skirmish with the fifth column during a frontline test with their rebooted War Walker program. Citadel personally arrested Vandal in Boomtown following that defeat. Citadel is one of the main big superhero groups. Uh, he's a member. Times are tough in military robotics, eh? Vandal considers your statement for a moment, but does not indulge it. So that's it? No comment? You realize that your desire to know the situation here is directly at odds with your goal of get in, get out for recruiting Bile to the team. You can hear shouts in all directions and boots stamping. You wanted to grill Hopkins for information, but realize you can't afford the distraction. It's time to move on. Time to get moving, then. Okay, so I guess... Wait. There wasn't any other prisoner. It was just him. Or unless there was something in there. Huh, okay. Is there nobody else in here? Hold on. Oh, wait. Yeah, there is. There's a dude right here. Hopkins. Oh, I can't talk to him. All right. So he's a Cray. He works for Cray. So I guess we got to get out of here. I can't remember. Oh. Um. You know. Hold on. Here. Uh, let's see here. Right before they brought me in. Clamor somehow spawn camp these noobs and took out a nice chunk of tech too. Knocked her, knocked out her cell, and it looks like Drex as well. Never liked her, but I totes appreciate her breaking from the meta. All right, my dude, let's rush B. Knives out. Where is Cortex? I guess we're just heading. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Kyle's doing good. Oh, he's a radiation. Nice. I really like the radiation power set because uh, you're when you you don't hit that hard with them, but their attacks reduce their defense and their attack power. So it ends up looking like you're doing more damage than you actually are. It, it's kind of an ego boost power. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Where? Oh. This is a... Well, again, over here, I found a doctor. Help me free him. Oh, it's Cortex. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. How do we... What are we doing here, Cortex? Okay, I'm just... Is he above? What? I don't understand what's going on. All right, I gotta stay with him. Okay, come on, Cortex. I don't know what you're doing, man, but I'll see you later. I found the doctor, but it's like I don't know what he wants me to do. So we're gonna go. Because it's where it's telling me to go. Come on. Too fast because he'll. I don't want him to. Dude, these guys are actually really cool looking. The freak bots. Come on.
see if we can get a trick or treat here. I'm not sure if the sub submarines will allow it. So. All right. Darbusa. All right. With Bile out of the Zig and Tor Cortex forced to be his jailhouse blues duet partner, I'd say we can call this test a resounding success. The Edelons are already reliant on us for maintenance, so Cortex being tragically left behind in the Zig won't affect their loyalty. I never liked the guy anyway, so that, that's one less treacherous walking nightmare out there for us to have to gawk at. The Edelons will quite literally fall apart without us, so they have no choice but to stick with us though. Yay for captive audience. It's like a TED talk from hell. Uh, but speaking of walking nightmares, Clamor and Drek being loose is a real hammer to the spleen that nobody was expecting. Not today, at least. We're going to have to keep our ears to the ground for them. They won't be happy. Pierce is already not too happy uh, as we lost an entire platoon of the free clock in there. But they were all rigged with self-immolation protocols to protect the research. One of Pierce's many good ideas. Oh, how could I forget Bile? Forget pause. Bile was very impressed with you since he wa wasted no time in calling me and arranging for many of his men to undergo the procedure. It won't be long before we have a true army of them. I'm personally content with the experimenting on the Revenant formula and dabbling in the CMRJ application so you're the one who will ultimately put these free clock to use. I'm so proud of the things we've done in the name of science, Fluffykin. We have kicked open a brand new division of mad science that will no doubt change the face of global conflict. For now, we're going to need to let the science brew a bit. When something comes up, and it always does, Pierce and I will call you. Pinky promise. All right. So we are done with that contact for now. Let's see here. We're, we've got Intercept Arachnos Raid. This is a... a one of the uh, the villain missions. Um, let's see here. Can I use any of these? Let's see, damage. Thirty threes. I think are the lowest. Okay, let's put this into. Let's. Hey. Okay, and then the rest uh, just got to sell. All right, so let's head to this place. Or actually, no, this isn't the place. Don't reserve. Uh, I don't think there's a mid midnighter. Yeah. So we will go ahead and do this. I intercept the Arachnos right. Oh, this one I think is a, a weird, like, multi part mission. That's why I, I didn't do it. Okay, let's see what we got. Nope. Yeah, Pandora's Box Part 105. It's this weird. Yeah, I thought this is a loading screen, but no, I actually have to. City of Heroes, Freedom. So this is a place. Arachnos appears to already have the arms operation locked down. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly what this is, but apparently it's a five-part mission. So let's go ahead and start. Oh, hi, guys. It's a warehouse home. Oh. 
Good work, everybody. I think this is our uh, guy. <coughs> this is our warehouse manager here. Oh, no. Oh, I thought we. I thought he went down. Uh, wait. Well, that was just a warehouse worker. The Cottus Consortium? Ooh, this is a big map. This way, got another worker, it looks like. Oh, curly. Yeah. Is there a drum off by himself? Oh, he's not by himself, that's why. Still here, dude. Get out of here. All right. Uh, let's see here. Anybody up here? All right. Clear out the place. Make sure we get everybody. And nobody up here. Oh, there it is. That clear, all right. Continue on. Nice. Oh, that's the battle combat armor thing. Is this him by himself there? Looks like it.
that's it. Last three takes a moment to look at you up and down before speaking. When she is done, a crooked half smile forms on her lips. Not bad, not bad. You seem to be more than capable, more capable than your file suggested. These guns didn't stand a chance. Last three levels of cool gaze at you. I'm not sure what it is you're doing here, though. I know for a fact that my employer hasn't contracted you for security work. Uh, your employer? An interested party in the political and economic forces that govern the Rogue Isles. Our organization is here to lay the groundwork for further projects in the local area. But I think I've dodged... I think you've dodged my question, Fluffykin. You came here for a reason, and I'd love to hear it. Who are you working for? I have my own reasons for coming here. Well, if that's the case, then I suppose I can count myself fortunate that you decided to intervene. I have contingencies in place for this sort of situation, but your arrival has made this operation much simpler. Now, I assume you aren't here just to aggravate Arachnos, which means you must have some interest in our operations here. Is that correct, Fluffykin? Um, yes, I'll be taking your merchandise off your hands. Lestri lets out a short laugh before she manages to cover her smile with a hand. Her eyes glitter mischievously. And what purpose would the great Fluffykin have with the hardware we're transporting? We traffic in high-quality weaponry, but it's all mass-produced. Do, do you have an army waiting in the wings that I'm unaware of? Not yet, but soon. I'll need them to compete with Arachnos. Interesting. Then I'll make a gift of them to you, Fluffykin. This warehouse and all of its contents are yours to do with as you see fit. Lestri flicks her wrist and a business card appears in her hand. She hands it to you. I believe that my employer's interests coincide with yours, Fluffykin. Come speak with me sometime. I think there may be more to help one another. Perhaps, Lestri, I'll consider it. All right, uh, that's it for the mission. So let's exit out. So do we have a continuation of this one? Interesting. Whoever Lestri is working for seems to have significant resources at his disposal. You should pay her a visit and see what proposals she has in mind. All right, first we're gonna trick or treat. I cannot enter. Oh yeah, this place is too low level for me. All right, so she is right over there. We'll talk to her real quick. Wait, is she? No. All right. Lastry lowers her clipboard and looks up to you as you approach. She gives you a court courteous nod and her expression serious. Good to see you again, Fluffykin. I confer with my employer, and he agrees that your interests coincide with his. Arachnos maintains a stranglehold on the Rogue Isles, and it is our belief that a rival organization, one friendly to our operations, would make our work significantly easier. With that in mind, my employer would like to offer you my services as an administrative supervisor. Uh, and what exactly does your employer expect in return? As I noted before, our interests coincide. If you are successful and can marginalize Recluse's control of the Rogue Isles, it will open the way for my employer's interests. Right now, Arachnos is the main obstacle for both of us, and you're in a better position to just challenge them than we are. I can help you, Fluffykin. I have experience in raising organizations from the ground up, and you're going to need help coordinating your resources if you want to be able to challenge Arachnos directly. So what do you say, Fluffykin? Shall we get started? I suppose so. All right. I'll be frank, Fluffykin. Arachnos remains the dominant force in every island of the Rogue Isles and is recognized by the population as the primary national authority. The odds of you raising an army capable of challenging all of Arachnos is quite low. That is, unless you are willing to invest the better part of a decade to build it. No, I don't believe a direct confrontation is the best course of action here. Rather, I would capitalize on the weakness of their organizational structure. Lord Recluse believes his network to be impenetrable, but he trains his subjects to be cruel and manipulative. It is my belief that we can turn this institutional corruption to our advantage. The first order of business, however, will be to establish a proper base of operations. I realize you may, be, may own property in the Rogue Isles, but I'm afraid that will be too exposed for what we're trying to do. We don't want Arachnos to be in position to raid your headquarters the moment they see you as a threat. For our purposes, we will want to claim some neutral ground, and I believe I, am, I have just the thing. Agree to form a strike force. Oh, we're not doing that right now. 
Okay, so sh this is uh, like a raid thing. So we're not doing that right now. She's not listed as contact. Okay, so that means we got nothing here in Shark Head. I think I, I have to go back to Cap, Cap Duable to get uh, the Minerata Club done, but I'm going to do that next session. So for now, uh, we got a few missions, some cleaned up a few low level missions. And so we're going to continue from there next session. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, subscribe, share, follow, all that fun stuff. We put out new videos every day. And in that regard, we will see you tomorrow, everybody.